How's it going, everybody? This is the running this one here with the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Trait Video, a uh, featured trait metal or treat featured metal trading video. Um, it is going to be, of course, for the Elsa or Anna and Elsa that was released to us today. Um, you got this one, you were guaranteed this medal, and the only way to get it was if you pulled five times from the VIP banner for the Elsa medal. Um, in the course of pulling for Elsa, I did get her, I did the five pulls for that one, so I do have this one. Um, it's really not too bad. It comes as a pre-set up 7-star, automatically. I forgot that, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, and it's uh, not the worst in the world. <laughs> At 10.65 multiplier for AoE, which isn't too terrible, 3 hits, 1 turn, um, upright strength, strength, upright strength, and speed strength by 15. So basically she's going uh, to give you all your attacking buffs for the speed category. So you could actually put her in the front of a Keyblade, for instance, and kind of go, go ham. Uh, or in like, the second spot, if you have like, a Kyrie. And that way you can get all your debuffs as well in there. Um, but she's not bad. She's a good AoE metal. She's a good solid AoE metal. Uh, she's not a supernova metal. Um, so it does kind of, uh, I won't say limit her in, in some aspects for players. Um, if you're a player who has like a bunch of a bunch of supernova medals, <clears throat> uh, she may not be as usable as you may have hoped for or even liked, but she still is really, really good. And she's a great, um, potentially call a C metal too, especially if you have the right traits, or a raiding metal. For me, personally, I would like for her to be a raid metal. Um, I am a bit disappointed that she only has three um, trait spots. I was really hoping for the five. Um, for some reason, I thought she'd be five. I mean, I know she's not a prime metal, but, or even a super metal, but I don't know. For some reason, I thought, like, you know, you can only get this metal by pulling uh, five times on the Mercy, or five times for the Mercy, basically, for it. It would be that way, but... No, <laughs> it's all just a three spot, so that's fine. Um, we do have tr uh, 12 trait medals to pull for, because apparently I pulled 12 times. I thought I only pulled um, 10 times, because I did pull um, Elsa on... I pulled Elsa, I think, on the 6th or the 7th pull, but I pulled a few more times to try and get EA on her, which I did. Um, don't ever <laughs> trait chase, it's a bad thing. Um, but apparently I pulled 12 times in the, in the course of trying to get EA on her. So, I guess, I guess it kind of worked out for me, in a way, I suppose. I feel kind of bad about that now, because, again, it's 12 times on a banner that wasn't, like, you know, super, super great in the first place, but Elsa's very much worth it. Elsa's a very good, um, super different metal. So, I don't know, but 12 times, we're going to see what we get here. Um, again, I'm hoping for all raids on this one in particular. I wouldn't mind getting setups for, um, Coliseum, though, because uh, Coliseum is a thing, and I haven't even touched Coliseum, so I'm going to have to do that one. Uh, sleep is definitely not the way to go on that. Uh, I haven't touched Coliseum yet. I need to get a jump on that. It does have gems as rewards. Um, the moon gem I need so I can keep on leveling up my, uh, diamond dust. Which I have level 31. Not bad at all in that regard. Ooh, ground. Cool. That's good. Um, so we're, we're kind of set in that regard. Uh, where diamond dust is kind of, you know, slowly gaining steam there. Not too bad. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I really want her to be raid metal, actually. I really need to uh, get key. Yay. She costs how much? An eight cost. So you definitely need a. Huh. You definitely need a um, SP gauge skill on her of some kind with an attacking metal. Poison. No, we're gonna skip poison. God, I'm trying to think. If I kept two raids and an EA, that'd be 16 gauges. Sixteen gauges. Jeez, I don't know if I could but ground and EA is so good. <laughs> Why does every upright spindle I want to roll as a raid metal roll as a Coliseum or PvP metal? I don't understand that. Well, I guess we'll see if we get um, strength or aerial now, because <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna overwrite the ground and the EA. That's just that's too good to overwrite, in all honesty. Uh, okay, EA again. All right, she is definitely wanting EA. Let's go over there again. Could have used an EA on my Sheon earlier. <clears throat> if you guys didn't know too, also I just watched, or I just released a uh, update video a bit late again. And by the way, guys, Merry Belated Christmas <laughs> to all of you. I uh, hope you guys had a great one. Um, I was pretty dead over the over the last week and a half, really last week and a half from work. Work was 
I work in retail and I work in electronics in retail and let me tell you how bad that was. <laughs> people are uh, people are definitely not nice on holidays. Especially if you're out of what they're looking for. So there's a lot of that stuff. There's a rate treat. I will put you there over sleep. Um, yeah, people people are definitely not nice at that point in time. They uh, they get pretty upset. So And they try and steal a lot of things too. Man, we had some people who tried to steal five thousand dollars worth of clothes and those clothing and like cosmetics grab again and uh yeah cosmetics and um a few other beauty products it was it was crazy and they tried to get away and the thing with that one was our store security called the cops early called the cops a bit uh before they went to try and stop the guy and the guy got violent and tried to get away and ooh, there we go there she's done ta-da um tried to get away and he did actually he he, tr he loaded everything in the suitcase and then he got away um but we got the suitcase so we know we didn't lose the product which was good of course and then another person another lady actually another lady and a guy a couple came in and were stealing clothes so they were stealing clothes and some uh toys and they tried to dump it into a cart and cover the cart with stuff uh, on the way out. And they, they kind of tried to push out. And we stopped them. And they tried to get away. And the guy tried to, like, push the girl out of the way. I guess, like, throw her to the wolves and tried to run. And the cops got him and t pretty much tapped him to the floor and cuffed him while the guy was screaming and yelling, and yelling profanities. But the kicker, like, the kicker for this part is... Our security guys, probably okay. That's actually pretty good. We did good. we did we did great on this medal. I mean, obviously did great on this medal. Um, the kicker for this one is the security called um, the cops about that earlier, and they came and they uh, get gave them the description of the guy who got away earlier, and they actually picked up that guy going down this going down this uh the sidewalk like three blocks down from the store so he was picked up and uh and arrested driven back to the store and brought into the booking room along with this guy and and his girlfriend i guess soon to be ex-girlfriend because she was pretty pissed that he uh just kind of threw her <laughs> out of the way to try and get away but um that was on uh on christmas eve <laughs> that was an exciting time as i uh i mean people on the holidays right but that's, that will conclude Aaron's story time. I thought I'd feel like sharing it with you guys. Crazy stuff that happens at, uh, at Target Land sometimes on the holidays. <clears throat> While we get our Anna and Elsa set up. So. Berg. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to put any skill on her yet. Cause I'm not sure what skill I want on her. Obviously, it's going to be a SP skill. A attacking SP skill. That will put on her. But, um. I'm not sure which one I want to put on her just yet. I don't want to. Uh, I don't. I don't want, to, don't want to waste a skill just yet. But she's definitely need a skill. I mean, she's gonna need a SP um, to be good, but preferably an SP zero skill because that that uh <laughs> that eight gauge cost is, is pretty costly. But <clears throat> but there she be. Uh, uh, get her cost down and done. So there she is. She is complete. Um. Not bad at all. We did get, we rolled EA, we rolled aerial, we rolled ground. So we did really good on her. So, yay. I mean, I wanted her to be a raid medal. I only rolled one raid trait out of 12 trait rolls. Only one rolled raids, but dims the brakes in this regard. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys, if you guys managed to pull her, I hope you guys managed to uh, to trade her well. And I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope it was good. My mind was pretty good. I was out family. Did had a good time. Um, and good luck if you guys are going to choose a pull for the Xion or for the, or for the Starlight Sora. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, I might do a showcase later once I decide um, what skill I want to put on her. Or if you guys want, you guys let me uh, comment down below and see what skill you guys think I should put on her right now um, based on what I have. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bam. See ya.